today I'm going to be painting this winter street scene. I love these atmospheric street scenes and this one had some special challenges to it because it was very flat, kind of dull scene. So I'm going to do some things to bring some life to this scene and give it a little bit of depth. And if you like this overview of this painting, then you might want to check out my Patreon page. I have a full tutorial on this painting. I post a new video every single month, and these videos are probably an hour and a half to two hours long. I walk you through my painting from start to finish, and I show my palette along the way, and I talk about colors. But I hope you enjoy this video today, and I hope you take something away from this. Before I get started, I'm going to wet both sides of my paper. And I'm just going to quickly put a sky in. And I can go right through these buildings, all that's going to be darker. This is one of the lightest values of my painting. I'm going to wash off my brush and use a little more water at the bottom of the sky to kind of lighten it up a little. And I'm just kind of taking away the whiteness of the paper here. Same thing on all of these cars, just taking away the whiteness of the paper. All I'm doing here is providing the color of the snow right now. And the road is darker than the snow and the sky. A lot of paper to cover in this wash. Add some more water to it. So the headlights can be here, put a little bit of that in there, and I probably will go back in with some gouache to make it kind of pop out a little bit better. Put some of the skin tone on these figures. This middle value, this is important. It needs to be dark enough for the snow to appear bright. And there's a lot of complexity in the background. There's some houses and some trees and some lights and darks. I'm gonna try to simplify that shape as much as I can. I may be coming back to this roof one more time. Once it dries, things are still pretty wet back there. But I think that's okay for some of what I'm wanting to do. I can go back in and get harder edge edges later. I'm gonna avoid moving down by my cars just yet because I want that part to dry. Try to not get too neat. That's always the trick, always the temptation. A 
looking for connections. And there's a lot of detail in that building. I'm not gonna to worry too much about it. I'm gonna simplify it. kind of ground them to the scene and connect our legs to it. And I'm loading up this rigger brush with this same color to do some branches. Okay, I'm gonna move over to these cars and get my darks in there. I don't want it to be really perfect. Just a few darks.
I'm gonna get back the brightest part of the headlight over here. I'm gonna use a little more gouache and get some of this reflection in. Okay, as I'm looking at this painting, I think it gets a little confusing here where the reflections are. And so what I think I'm going to do is put a darker wash here and bring it along here and soften it up and just darken the foreground. I think what it's gonna do is bring your focus more into the painting. Right now I'm getting, my, my eyes getting kind of stuck down here and this kind of stuff, and so I'm gonna try that and we'll see how it looks. I'm gonna use my bigger brush and I have a whole bunch of paint on my palette. See if I can just use all of this. I feel like this grass needs just a little bit more texture, at least in this area around the focal point. I'm gonna put a dark stocking cap on this figure. Maybe take a little bit of the attention away. And then I do think this foreground needs another wash. I hate doing that, hate going over it again, but I'm getting stuck over here. Like this part of the painting just does not make sense to me. And I think if this was all darker, it would bring your eye into the painting. So I'm gonna address the figure first. Okay, that does it for this painting. Once again, thank you for painting with me. I hope you enjoyed this video and got something out of it. And I will see you next time.